On this episode of Sailing the Space Between, we fly Aiden and Puggy down for a couple days of rest and relaxation, and then right back to it. Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Holly. And this is The Space Between. Hey, hey, I'm on vacation every single day because I love my occupation. And you made my future bright, so thankful for everything. Rejuvenate my inner light as I work hard for all I need. Open arms, embracing life, and all the way you gave to me. I work, it pays off, I'm happy now, it's paying me. Do the shit and love it on a daily. Say you hate your job, but you'll never leave, never leave. But that ain't gonna be me, that ain't gonna be me. My brother called me up, said he saw me on TV. So after 14 straight days of this, and too much of this, we decided to uh, take a few down days and spend some time with Aiden and Pugs. So while Aiden was in Key West, he decided this would be a great time to get my ears pierced. And that's just what we did. And he did it the old-fashioned way with a needle, not the gun. So no swimming, sailing, water, you know, all that kind of stuff. The stuff you do in Key West. As for Pugs, well, she was just happy to be in a new place and on the boat. So we took it easy, played with Pugs, visited with Aiden, and ate a lot of food truck tacos. And before we knew it, it was time for Aiden Pugsley to board the plane and head back home. So round two. Scott is gonna step on your pretty decks. Well, we are all cleaned up, ready for the Rit Ritzky, Rit I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce the last name. Jean and Dick and Ted and Sarah to arrive and they should be here momentarily and they wanted to get their trip documented it's our 50th birthday so we shall meet them soon welcome aboard <laughs> yay we are here with the birthday girl <laughs> and her good friends <laughs> Ed and Sarah, Sarah. I will remember by the end of this okay. trip, I promise. <laughs> Jean and Dick. Jean, Dick, Ed, and Sarah. Yeah. Okay. I might to... have to refer back to the video later. Yeah. <laughs> you know, about the time you're ready to get off, I'll remember all your names. Okay, good. <laughs> and we are from? Wilmington, North Carolina, all of us. Wilmington, North Carolina. Okay, and it is currently a balmy... Ooh, what were we, 80? It's 91 in the car. Oh, well. <laughs> It's, it's about the same as here. Is it really? Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Not, not too much difference then. And you are here to celebrate my turning. Say it. 50. Say it. Woo! Say it. <laughs> Throw her in the water. <laughs> Half century. Half a century. Yes. Yes. So much wisdom. So young. <laughs> so right much. In. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When you get on, never mind. <laughs> and um, we are here at the Galleon for the next two nights, so you can ring in your 50th. Yep, at Captain Tony's at midnight on Halloween. Oh, Halloween yep. with all of your, she is a uh, parrot, head. parrot head, thank yes. you. There will be people here for Meeting of the Minds. They're going to meet us there after Mac McAnally's concert. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that should be awesome. Yes. We are glad to have you. and. Yeah. Um, let the festivities begin. So we'll have to get a before shot. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. But Pretty more importantly, almost that Yeah. 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 <laughs> it is Jean's birthday Eve. Birthday Eve. Yay. Six hours. And Notice that before I get born, everybody gets candy. I'm just saying. <laughs> Were you born right at midnight? No. Three yeah. in the morning. Three in the morning. Okay. Well, that says a lot about you. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's awesome. I can't see you yet. Oh, Ed. Uh, <laughs> wow. That is killer. Entrance, my mind on. Oh, oh look. look! Oh, you put your fridge dress. Oh, I love it. Oh, my gosh. I can't this on the boat, so. Yay! Yeah, you look amazing. amazing! You look fantastic. Oh, you look amazing. This is very great. That is I brought the real Greek Greek. Oh. Yeah, we survived. Cheers. 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 Past midnight at our age. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't happen very often. <laughs> yeah. 
New Year's Eve and my birthday. <laughs> I don't stay up that late. Did on you do you count down? We like, did. He, 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 he put an phone. hour on his phone. Aww. It was, it was <laughs> super obnoxious about it. And then in 10 seconds, he got everybody together and we did like the ball dropping. <laughs> we just didn't have the ball. Uh. <laughs> so tell us, tell us about your your experience. So we showed up at a bar, found out there was a contest. We were dressed up and we were going to leave and one of the judges came up to us and said, don't leave. So why? He goes, just don't leave. Okay, so we had another beer. Contest started, and I don't know how many people was in it. Maybe, Maybe 20? 20. 15, 20. Yeah. And uh, we won first place. Awesome. An Eight hundred dollar gift certificate to a hotel. So good for the next year. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Vacation plan next year. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah we'll so. be back in Cuba. Yes. Yeah, same time so, next year. It was worth dressing up. It really was. And hauling all that. Yeah. And it they did look awesome. bad. It was like two bags. It wasn't bad. For, to win? <laughs> to win? <laughs> to win? No, to win it wasn't that bad. That's awesome. It's awesome. Well, congratulations. Thank you. We're glad that, and it was at the Tiki, right? Yeah, Tiki Hospital. All right. Take One holiday out. is over. Uh, we got a new holiday in town. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst casserole I have ever had. Shit, that's <laughs> not what you're supposed <laughs> to <laughs> That was wait, wait a second. After she says that, there is not a freaking drop no, 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 on no. anyone's plate. Cheers to you. That was good. Very Please good. send the recipe. Yes. We have You'll have to buy the cookbook. Please. Please. <laughs> yes, I will send you the recipe. That was good. I can't. It's Pinterest. I can't, I can't claim it. But thank you. It was, it was very flavorful. Oh, look it. And I even had a camera running. Yeah, hey, buddy! Oh, he's so pretty. Now that the birthday was properly celebrated on shore, it's time to shove off and start the rest of their adventure. Before you fall asleep, hey, it's my birthday, bitches! It's my birthday. <laughs> Cool it's Herbert, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so American Joel, behind me. No longer. Please, out around it. We did not make it close enough to see the reef for it, but all the balls are gone, and all the stuff around it is just rock. So, bye bye, American Joel. Yeah. But. We know that Luki is still there, so we are headed that way. Alright, next gonna be our guinea pig. The anti-motion sickness glasses or goggles. <laughs> they are total fashionista. <laughs> Don't quite get how they work, but we're gonna see. We only got two eyes. Yeah, well apparently it's for your peripheral vision. Oh, you look fantastic, Dick. <laughs> so let's see if they work. Yeah. So what level of sickness are you at right now on a 1 to 10 scale? 5 or 6. All right. I don't know how they're long. Long, we're supposed to take them. Are you supposed to look at the horizon? What are you supposed to look at? Are you supposed to look at the horizon? You're the one that watches the video. Yes. It automatically, uh, liquid around your eyes tells you in your ear what way, what way is up. Which way is up? Our first stop was the beautiful reefs of Lu Key. They didn't end up seeing any Goliaths this time, but there were a ton of fish, and Sarah was happy not to see a baby shark, do 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 do, even after Dick chummed the water. What a beautiful cutter. 
After a beautiful day of snorkeling and sailing, we headed to Bahia Honda to stay for the night. A beautiful sunset behind me. There it was, a beautiful sunset. Get away from the music. And we are in here cooking up a storm. We got fajitas. Oops, sorry. Fajitas in the slow cooker. We got cilantro lime, lime rice on the stove. We got queso ready to be heated up. We have, I just made guacamole. Getting the tortillas ready. And, um, oh, we're throwing some shrimp on the barbie. So, hopefully, between all of that, everybody will be good and full. Or at least have some room for. Happy birthday to you. The balloons are literally melting off the side of it. It still tastes the same. Yeah. So your present Talk to is Haley and model the balloons. Is that a keto cake? Yeah. <laughs> no, you will go into a coma if you eat it. Oh, oh, you got to try again. Talk to Haley. No, in the middle. Do it in the middle. Hey. There we go. Hey. Hey. Right. right through the name. Boom. His brother, his housekeeper, and what was his address? His brother's name was. Um... Oh, is it the same on the show? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh shit! Oh, I searched the. Um... And the address was. No, you're thinking Moriarty. That's no, yeah, that's right. right. There you go. Tell it. I'm thinking 22 Baker Street. That's the address, yeah. 22 Baker Street. Oh, pretty close, but... 23. On that one. Oh, battery's dead. Playing Jeopardy on, what is this thing called? The... Cruiser's Net. Cruiser's Net this Mycroft. morning. Oh, Mycroft. Mycroft. I told you it's an M. <laughs> Your best what about Bob voice, I need to... S a big... We're sailing. What, what, what? <laughs> we're sailing. Oh, okay. I won't tell you the mast, but... Your brief encounter with sombrero. Gorgeous. That's beautiful. Didn't did, did you make it over to any? Is a reef right underneath yeah, of us? Pieces of reef. It's kind of low, but it was just the jellyfish kept us from going too far. We were watching for jellyfish. Today. Yes, there are a plethora of jellyfish out today. And now we are headed to Marathon for some nightlife. Nightlife. Let's call it nightlife for the, for the fun of it. And just to add a little excitement, we get boarded by the Coast Guard for the very first time ever. Good. How are you? Your shirt. Oh, my son's in the Coast Guard. Yay! Twenty-seven years retired. Yeah. We're gonna come along and do a safety boarding, all right? Sure thing. That's the captain. Yeah. Yes, we do. Do you not have shoes on my C deck? I cannot take them off. I'm sorry. They're not marking though. Uh, okay, you can come scrub them later. <laughs> uh, so, are you the captain now? No, he's the captain. Yeah, the show will be on next summer on History Channel. Yay! Super cool. What have you awarded today? We're lucky number three. Four. We're lucky number four. Yep. The just the information part of the boarding. I'll sign it, and then uh, you guys are free to go. Thank you. Thank you for him. You guys got to the reef today. We did. Yeah, yeah the um, sombrero. Uh, is it a little snotty out there? Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't there's... bad once you got to the reef, though. The last there's... guy I just boarded, he came from Fort Lauderdale, and he said that they were getting like 10, 12 foot rollers all the way down here. And I was like, yeah. and so they're looking around. I was like, really? Well, sombrero's <laughs> got them, but they're rolling this direction, and they're probably a good six feet, but they're 20, 30 seconds apart. So that's fun. massive rollers. That's fun. If there was a bazillion board, jellyfish. In the water. The yeah. But somebody over the radio came and said they caught a two meter tuna. Yeah. I heard it on 16 and they're like 
how are you getting it aboard? And he goes, I got a mini gaff. And I started laughing, and so did everybody else on the other end of the ring. That's going. scary, because, yeah. I two didn't, meter tuna. Well, they're offshore, so. That sounds, that sounds like it's a bit of exaggeration. Yeah, I was going to say it might be a, a big fish tail. It is 1430. Mm. The one that got away. <laughs> yeah. It's, I, I've never heard, I've never heard of that. And tuna I, I've that never size seen a bluefin tuna here that no. would be that size. So. Well, they were out there because I, I mean, I was barely getting them and I'm 74 feet high. Yeah. So they're way out. That's crazy. I've never heard of anybody really pulling up tuna other than the little black fins around here. And maybe down in Key West you hear the yellow fins, but they don't get no. two meters. That's what I said. Everybody started laughing. They're on these charter boats, these charter yachts. They want to eat what they what they caught that day. Mm -hmm. They're not leaving Why? the boat. So right. Freeze it. Uh, yeah, it, it make would make more sense, sense for there to be some sort of exception, but you know, laws a law. No, this is a Bahamas exemption, though. I mean, yeah. A law for what? Rules that go with that too. The law is the law. Oh, for what? I mean, what is the law for? Uh, you're not allowed to fillet fish underway. Oh. Fillets, unless you were at the Bahamas and you have an exemption, uh, an exemption letter, and even then you, uh, you're not allowed to stop in U.S. waters. You have to continue. Right. To we weren't order. in U.S. waters. Right. Right. Okay. We're good. Stay safe, guys. You have any commentary? For what? First ever boarding. Yeah. Coast Guard's much more professional than. A lot better than the Navy. <laughs> no dig. Oh, dig, dig. Well, you weren't doing anything wrong. I wouldn't do anything wrong the first time either. As far as I was concerned. Oh, right here, right here. Can I crawl over this? Oh, yep. God, okay. Oh, I've seen them before. We're just, we're, we're to Blue Springs all the time. They have. She has a baby. Oh, yeah. After our little rendezvous with the Coast Guard, we pull into Boot Key Harbor and see some sea cows on the way. <laughs> All right, thing. That is a big bottle of champagne. Hook, hook. 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 You just bought it because it has a big J on the front, didn't you? That's what caught me the first time, but their wine is good. Birthday champagne. Birthday champagne celebration. I don't want to lose an eye, okay? No. Don't poke your eye out. Yeah. No, you, don't, you don't let them pop. I still They're have my legs, so... There you go. Woo! Woo! Look at that. to make them whisper. That did not whisper. Uh, here's to 50 years. I can finally buy the champagne I freaking like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Drink to that. Great cruise. Happy birthday, and, and, baby. Happy birthday. And the boat to drink it on. And the boat to drink it on. <laughs> the best Fabulous. Boat to drink it on. Best vacation. Space between. Space between. Cheers. Ooh. Yeah. It's more like 30 years. It is the 20th <laughs> celebration of the city that Scott went to 30 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! That's how that works. And they don't teach math here. Come no, on. they don't. And math we're math. having cheeseburgers in paradise. Yes. yes. Cheeseburgers in paradise. Scott's on the grill. Woohoo! Alright. How was your day at the Turtle Museum? Turtle Hospital. Oh, Turtle Hospital, not museum. <laughs> Turtle Hospital is amazing. Uh, they rescue everywhere from the Everglades down to Key West. They have been doing this since the 80s. They've released over 2,000 back into the wild. Uh, we learned about diseases we didn't know turtles had. Very educational. Yeah, very educational. very educational. I mean, we all know the oceans are sick. There's too much junk in the oceans. So, we, but th this is causing them to develop cancers and all kinds of things. It's really neat. The people were super nice. So that was well worth our time. Let me do a quick pano. trying to fight our way back from Marathon to Key West and we have quite the winds. I'm thinking it's supposed to be following sea so it shouldn't be too bad. But how are we feeling this bright and balmy morning? It's really, it's Scott told me, I'm like it's like six in the morning don't expect me to know things. It's like 
But your body thinks it's like eight, so stop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful morning. Beautiful. It is a beautiful morning. Yes, it is. Firefly, it was just a thought. I just thought it'd be cool to have a yeah. firefly going. We have Key West, <laughs> we right. have Contra Public flags, and yeah. we have everything else. And then we said, next time we go to Key West, we'll buy the firefly. Yeah. Okay, so. perfect. We we're having so much fun, the Fury decided to get up close to check out their competition. What was your favorite part of the whole trip? I did enjoy the snorkeling, how short-lived it was <laughs> in my case. <laughs> now just experiencing the boat. I've never done anything like this before. So I've been on one other cruise that was on a big cruise ship. So first time ever on something like this. So. And would you? And I enjoyed seeing the keys i'd never been to the keys so it was a lot of first crossed off the bucket list i guess awesome how was your 50th birthday experience it was perfect it was perfect i got my favorite people together um favorite part of the trip was getting everybody together being in key west hitting midnight on halloween so that was great um same with dick i would have done more snorkeling but Otherwise, I loved going to the sandbar and I loved the running up and down the keys and seeing everything. So it's kind of a toss up. There you have it, Thank folks. You. The 50th Excellent. birthday celebrated. Yay, John, for planning all of this and making it happen. Thank you guys for doing everything. Oh, today. and um, make a little mention about the um, going through a broker. Oh, okay, yeah. So we did not book directly with Sailing the Space Between because I'd never done this before. So when I Googled, chartering a sailboat a brokerage company came up and we went through them and that worked out okay but I have to say going forward now that we've been on the boat we would book directly with the space between and um, it's not even a big it's not like financial or anything it's just communication because I'm dealing with a woman who was somewhere in Miami that knows nothing about the boat knows nothing about your boat she's never been here she knows nothing about you um, so dealing with y'all directly was definitely is definitely where we'll go forward but again if we were ever going to change boats you just don't know so i get it but you're safe on the space between you and call them directly perfect and don't believe the laundry list of shit that they send you yeah you. yeah i gave it to scott <laughs> <laughs> all european right plugs. yes yes you do not need european outlets to be on board the no, you or your own flashlights or or, spices, or your own uh floats yeah or, no yeah no towel, towels towels, towels. Yeah. Got a whole bag of towels yeah oh my dear jesus <laughs> all right so we will send them off on their way back to the frigid temps of North Carolina. North Carolina yeah. And um, we will miss them greatly. Well, we had an amazing last night with the guests. We had story time with Ed, which was hysterical. Um, drank too much. And uh, this morning got up, had some breakfast, and saw them off. Just dumped all the garbage, and now we are headed out to port at 10.52 a.m. and the Key West powerboat races are going on. So we're gonna see what kind of footage we can capture on our way out. We can't get too close, so. So, so once again, we have another successful fantasy fest and charter in the books, and it's always sad to leave paradise, but it is what it is. Oh well, I thought we'd get a shot of the race, but alas, no such luck. Sarah took her gree gree. So after an amazing three plus weeks in the Keys, Scott and I start the 24 hour trek back home. Thanks so much for watching our charter adventure. Hope you can join us for the next one.